Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be learning Floyd Warshall algorithm and how to solve it. Floyd Warshall algorithm is named after its inventors Robert Floyd and Stephen Warshall. They proposed this algorithm in the year 1962 to find the shortest path between all the pair of vertices in a weighted graph. Floyd Warshall algorithm is a dynamic programming problem. Dynamic programming problem is an optimization technique where a large problem is broken into small subproblems and these subproblems are solved only once. In this video, we will be breaking down the steps involved in Floyd Warshall algorithm, including how to construct the distance matrix, how to implement it, and how to update it based on the graph's edges. Now, let us consider an example. For this weighted graph, we need to first write the distance matrix. We will denote our distance matrix as A0. Since we have four vertices, we need to construct a 4 cross 4 matrix. Since these four vertices have no self loops, we will be writing 0 on the diagonals. Now, the distance between vertex 1 to vertex 2 is 13. Distance, since there is no direct edge between vertex 1 and vertex 3, we will be writing it as infinity. Now, the distance between vertex 1 to vertex 4 is 15. Distance between vertex 2 to vertex 1 is 12. Distance between vertex 2 to... Again, there is no direct edge between vertex 2 to vertex 3. So, we will be writing it as infinity. Then, distance from 2 to 4 is 14. Then, the distance from 3 to 1 is... 3 to 1, there is no edge, so it is infinity. 3 to 2, it is 11. 3 to 4, there is no edge, so it is infinity. 4 to 1, there is no edge, so infinity. 4 to 2, again there is no edge, so infinity. 4 to 3, it is 12. Using this distance matrix, we are constructing matrix A1. We consider vertex 1 as the middle element. Now the paths belonging to the vertex 1 remains un unchanged. Now the distance between the remaining vertices uh, is to be calculated through the vertex 1. Now, so as we mentioned earlier, the uh, paths belonging to vertex 1 remains unchanged. So we will write the first row for and first column as it is. So first row is 0, 13, infinite and 15. First column is 12, infinity and infinity and the diagonals become 0. Now we need to find the distance between the remaining uh, vertices through vertex 1. Now to find, the, find these distances, let us consider the distance between A, 2, 3. First we will find out this distance. From 2 to 3, we will find out the distance. To find the distance, we consider the minimum of minimum of the distance from 2 to 3, that is infinity, comma, the distance from A, A, 2, 1, plus A, 1, 3. So, the minimum of a to 3 is infinity, comma a to 1 is a 2 to 1 is 12 plus a 1 3 is infinity. So our answer becomes infinity. So the distance from 2 to 3 is infinity. Now similarly, we find the distance between 2 to 4. A 2 to 4, it's minimum of 2 to 4, it's 14, distance is 14, comma, 
8 2 to 1. 8 2 to 1 is 12 plus a 1 to 4. 1 to 4 is 15. So the minimum value is 14. So we'll write 14 here. Then we find the distance a 3 2. So minimum of a 3 distance from a 3 to 2 is 11 comma 3 to 1 is infinity plus 1 to 2 1 to 2 is 13 so the minimum is 11 because infinity plus 13 is infinity and minimum value is 11 so we write 11 next the distance from a 3 to 4 is minimum of 3 to 4 is infinity comma 3 to 1 3 to 1 is infinity plus 1 to 4 is 15 so this is nothing but infinity so the minimum so we so this value becomes infinity then a 4 to 2 4 to 2 minimum is 4 to 2 is in 4 to 2 is infinity comma 4 to 1 is infinity again plus 1 to 2 1 to 2 30 this is nothing but infinity so the value becomes infinity here also we write infinity then next 4 to 3 distance of a 4 to 3 is minimum of 4 to 3 is 12 comma 4 to 1 is infinity plus 1 to 3. 1 to 3 is infinity. So the minimum value is 12. So we write the distance of 4 to 3 as 12. Now again using this matrix we need to find the matrix A2. Here vertex 2 is our middle element and uh, the part belonging to the vertex 2 are, remains unchanged. Now we need to find the distance between the remaining pair of vertices through vertex 2. The diagonal elements remains the same 0, 0, 0 and second row 12, infinity and 14 and second column remains the same, 13, 11 and infinity. Now we need to find the remaining distances. Now A1 to 3, A1 to 3, it is the minimum of A1 to 3, 1 to 3 is infinity, comma, A1 to 2, 1 to 2 is 13 because we are going through the um, through going via vertex 2. So we are considering 1 to 2 that is 13 and 2 to 3. Vertex 2 to 3 is infinity. 13 plus infinity is nothing but infinity. So our value is infinity here. Then distance from 1 to 4. A 1 to 4. That is minimum of 1 to 4 is 15 and 1 to 1 to 2 is 13 plus 2 to 4 is 14. 13 plus 14 is nothing but uh, 27. So minimum is 15. So we are considering the value 15. Next, distance from A 3, 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Minimum 3 to 1 is infinity. Then 3 to 2 is 11 plus 2 to 1. 2 to 1 is 12. This is nothing but 23. So our distance is 23. A 3, 4. So its minimum of 3 to 4 is infinity, comma 3 to 2 is 11 plus 2 to 4 is 14 which is nothing but 25. So 
a distance between 25. Now 4 to 1. A 4 to 1. Its minimum of 4 to 1 is infinity, comma, 4 to 2 is infinity plus 2 to 1. 2 to 1 is 12. Which infinity plus 12 is nothing but infinity. So our answer, our value is infinity here. Then A 4 to 3. Minimum of 4 to 3 is 12, comma, 4 to 2. 4 to 2 is infinity plus 2 to 3. 2 to 3 is infinity. So our minimum value is 12. So we write 12 here. Now using this matrix A2, we are constructing matrix A3. Here, 3 is the middle element. Now, path belonging to this middle element, that is vertex 3, uh, remains unchanged. Now, the diagonal elements will be 0. Now, now we need to consider third row and third column as this. Third row is 23, 11, 25. Third column is infinity, infinity, 0 and 12. Now we need to find the distance between the remaining vertices through vertex 3. Now, A2, we need to find the distance from A12. Now, A12. It is the minimum of 1 to 2 is 13, comma, uh, 1 to 3 is infinity plus 3 to 2, 3 to 2 is 11. Infinity plus 11 is nothing but infinity, so minimum value is 13. So the value here is 13. Now A14, minimum of a1 1 to 4 distance between 1 to 4 is 15 comma 1 to 3 is infinity plus 3 to 4 is 25 so the minimum value here is 15 then a 2 1 so minimum is 2 to 1 is 12 comma 2 to 3 is infinity plus 3 to 1 is 23. So the minimum value is 12. So here the value is 12. Then 2 to 4. Minimum of 2 to 4 is 14. Then 2 to 3 is infinity plus 3 to 4 is 25. So the answer minimum value is 14. So here it remains 14. Then 4 to 1. A, 4, 1. Minimum of 4 to 1 is infinity. Sum of 4 to 3 is 12. Plus 3 to 1 is 23. This is nothing but 35. So minimum value is 35. So we write 35 here. Then 4 to 2. Minimum value of 4 to 2 is infinity, comma, 4 to 3 is 12, plus 3 to 2 is 11. Minimum value is 23. So we write 23 here. Now this is the A3 matrix. Using A3 matrix, we will find A4. Now here, 4 represents the middle element. Now the path belonging to the vertex 4 are, remains unchanged. Now we need to find the distance between the remaining pairs of vertices through vertex 4. We write the diagonal elements as it is. 4th row and 4th column remains as it is. So 4th row is 35, 23, 12, 0 and 4th column. 
15th, 14th and 25. Now we need to find the remaining pair of vertices. So now 1 to 2, distance from 1 to 2. 1 to 2 is minimum of 1 to 2 is 13, 1 to 4 is 15 plus 4 to 2 is 23. So our minimum value is 13. So we write 13 here. Now A 1 to 3. Minimum of 1 to 3 is infinity, 1 to 4 is 15 plus 4 to 4 to 3, it's 12. Answer is 27, so minimum value is 27. Then A, 2 to 1, 2 to 1. Minimum of 2 to 1 is 12, distance between 2 to 1 is 12. Then 2 to 4 is 14 plus 4 to 1 is 35. So again our minimum value will be 12. So we write 12 here. Then 2 to, two to 3. So minimum of 2 to 3 is infinity, comma, 2 to 4 is 14, plus 4 to 3 is 12. So the minimum value is 26. So we write 26 here. Now distance between 3 to 1, that is minimum of 3 to 1 is 23. Now the distance through the vertex 4 that is 3 to 4 is 25 plus 4 to 1 is 35. So the minimum value here 25 plus 35 is 60. So minimum value between 23 and 60 is 23. So we write 23 here. Next 3 to 2. A 3 to 2. Minimum distance that is 3 to 2 is 11. Then 3 to 4 is 25 plus 4 to 2 is 23. But our minimum value is 11. So we write 11 here. This A4 matrix is our final matrix. This matrix gives the shortest path between all the pairs of vertices. Here our graph consists of vert 4 vertices. So we uh, construct 4 matrices. So if the number of vertices is 5, then we construct Phi mat uh, phi a phi matrix. Now we have understood how to find the shortest path between all the pairs of vertices using floyd washell algorithm. As we have seen, floyd washell algorithm is a valuable tool for variety of applications like network, routing, traffic optimization, etc. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.